Hello. In this video, I will share with you my effort to implement HD recording on uh, 55 uh, millimeter whoops, like this one. Uh, this one is with uh, 7 millimeters motor. Uh, using uh, Turbo Wings uh, DVR Cyclop 3, like this one, and uh, Runcam uh, transmitter, like this one. Also, to do that, I used an eChine uh, TX03 mount that I uh, did cut in piece to make it fit. And I will show you the result. And uh, finally, I will also try uh, to make a deeper view of the flight time possible because uh, recording uh, is quite uh, consuming on the battery. So I will use a few sets of batteries, uh, maybe a smaller one, yes, and this one, to. Uh, details uh, possible flight time while uh, recording uh, HD at the same time. So, first what I did is I took the mount, I don't have the video on that but I will explain you, I took the mount and uh, I did cut it and uh, I did put the DVR and the run cam on it and I fixed everything with some plastic dip like this one and here is the result for the moment so uh, I will see how much it weight so for the moment I have the two wires for OSD implementation I soldered the uh, power feed from the transmitter to the camera and I will have to put this in my tiny whoop and I just cut this because I will solder it and now I have a combo ok it weight 7.18 and to be fair you must include the SD card because the SD card will go on the side like this so let's solder it to the whoop to the tiny whoop and see the resulting footage so this is an eChine O11 frame with a beta FPV uh, flight controller including uh, which uh, supports OSD so I will solder on this four pad here the power for the combo and the video in out for the OSD Okay, so here's the final result. Now I will try with a different battery and tell you uh, the result. Just to see how much it weights. Okay, so this is without battery but with the SD card inserted. So yeah, we are talking about a flying weight of about almost 40 grams or even more. So now let's have a look at the set of batteries that I will uh, test the flight time with. So to start with 
we have this one, which is uh, 240 milliamps uh, battery. It's a battery from uh, Andersen X4. You have the link in the description below. Then I will test this one. It's uh, 380 milliamps. Uh, got this on good. Then I have uh, 500 batteries, the same but a bigger size. From Banggood 2, a little bit heavier. Then I have this one, which is uh, 450 milliamp, and it's a HV battery from uh, QX95, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little bit heavier, and I will end with this one beta fpv 550 milliamps uh, milli, milliamps hour uh, in high voltage too uh, for this one i will have to use a small adapter because my connector is in fact not the same kind no. This Valkyra style or Lozi. So, in fact, for me, in my configuration at least, it will wait this. So, now uh, you've seen the resulting chart, so I let you decide if you think it's a good thing to have HD or not. It wait on your quad, so I will not consider it for acro flying, but uh, for flying around and take good videos, that could be nice. Okay, thank you everyone for watching and uh, bye bye, see you soon.